I'm here today to tell you that even the smallest efforts are fruitful. If you are learning to garden right now in one pot on your, ca- on your patio, you are exactly where I was 15 years ago. If you are right now learning to garden in a green stalk, in a little grow bag, If you are helping somebody with a garden because you can't even do those things. If you are here listening, if you are watching videos, if you are reading books, do you want to know what turning your waiting room into a classroom does? It gives you qualification. My sweet husband says that a lot of times that we want to get to our dreams with a plane ticket where we look on the ticket and it says destination, you get in the plane and then you get to the destination. But more often times God takes us on a road trip that takes 10 years and sometimes we have to get on a southbound highway to get in a western destination. And that's so true. But I want to encourage you that these small efforts and these these things, sitting down at the classroom, the humility that it takes to be a student when all you really want is to hold your dream, that is developing you to hold your dream. Longing is the greatest gift that God could ever give you. Because do you know that I longed for my farm for so long? I would cry my face off wanting that so bad. I felt like it was impossible. People told me it was. People who were dear to me and who meant well said, you need to give that up. That's not for you. That's a rich people dream. They said stuff like that. You won't have horses. You won't have cows. You won't have a big red barn. And I was like, you know, I just just am willing to be brave enough to think maybe I might. We did a butchering thing recently. And... Everybody came. We had a great time. We butchered these pigs. The guys, everybody went home. Jeremiah and I had three of the big roaster ovens, 24-quart roaster ovens full of riette, which is a slow-cooked meat rendered in its own lard, herbs, mead. So good. Can't buy it at the store. And we had three 24-quart roaster ovens, and we were wiped out. It was 10 o'clock at night. We were like, we wanted nothing more than to go to sleep. You know what we did? We sat up until 2 in the morning packing jars of Riet, exhausted, dragging. And you want to know what? In that moment, the why that I remember is how bad I wanted it. Longing is a gift because it is fuel through conflict. It is fuel through failure. When I sat on the floor with my first dead goat, her name was Delilah. She died of milk fever three weeks after giving birth to twin bucklings on President's Day in 2017. I still remember that because it broke my heart. I could have given up, but I wanted it too bad for too long to give up because Delilah died. I wanted it too bad for too long to give up because it was hard. And so right now when you feel like, oh, I, wanted, I want more than this. I need help. I don't have the help I need, the money I need, the time I need. I've still got to work my job. I've got to hang on to my insurance. I cannot do this yet. You stop one minute, and I want you to think, thank you, Lord, for giving me longing. Because he's giving that to you, and it is such a gift. Every single thing in the process is good, even the uncomfortable and the painful parts. <laughs> 